hello everyone welcome to rpa feed and in case you are liking our videos and you find it helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing videos maximum to a maximum audience okay with that let's get started so in today's session uh, we will be looking at list package of automation 360 platform and in interest of time i have already uh, uh, built this bot otherwise it would have taken more time than expected that's why i have uh, uh already built some snippets which will demonstrate the use of each actions available inside this list package okay so first of all just to give you a background in the variable section i have uh created one of uh, the list variable uh, lst task info and lst fruits so these are my two list variables okay after this uh why do we need list variable or why we need to create a variable of type list so basically list is a uh, like if you want to store something in a recurring format or maybe as a list like you have multiple items and you want to store them in a variable so you need some kind of data structure or some kind of uh, a type of variable which can hold that information right so list is the one uh, now you can say that uh, dictionary we can also use dictionary but but dictionary uh, you can store information in a key value format and in this you can store simply uh, you can store the values as you maintain a to do list or something like that so for this purpose we use list variables if you go into the variable section and from here plus sign you create you create a variable and in the type you can see you have a type of variable this is an unordered group of items sorry an ordered group of items so this is a type of uh, list variable and if you select this list again you can specify subtypes so like sometime you want to create a list of type numbers or string right if you have a string if you want to create a string uh, list you can select string or uh, otherwise number or boolean boolean will have true or false only two items in the list and if this is you you are not sure about the type of variable you will be storing you can use any okay so uh, any can be used when like you are you are requesting some api and you are not sure uh, what format you will be receiving the data in so at that time if you are not sure of what return type it would be then you can go for any okay. for in, in this example we have uh, used string list of string okay um now let's get started to uh, the bot so in this bot uh, i have used list of add item add item action so add item action just adds your item uh, adds your uh, data to the list so we have added uh, aa task name to uh, to the list so it will be added at 0th position because right now the list is empty so it will be added at 0th position and then the second item will be added to uh, first position zero and then one uh, list uh, always starts with index zero okay and here um, uh, list of info i didn't uh, mention any default value that's why i am doing add item but in list of fruits i have already mentioned the default value so this list is uh, default loaded with these uh, five of the uh, items apple orange watermelon banana and grapes so this is default uh, values for this list okay now uh, in here uh, i am looping over so this is a list so list can have multiple items so if you want to fetch data from list you need to loop in the list so in loop you will use the condition for each item in list and which list uh, task info and you can specify range like from this uh, value to this index to this index position i want to query or you want to query all the items in the list and then you can assign it to a variable here i have used prompt assignment so this will uh, just uh, give us uh, this will display the two items that we have added in the list okay and then uh, i'll run this uh, once once i uh, like i can tell you what i have done here then at once we will learn uh, we will run this program so uh, the next is uh, in the action uh, the next is assign uh, sorry uh, join item so list of join items uh, it will basically so whenever you have a requirement like you have a list and you want to 
uh, get that information in a string variable uh, so you can do that using join item uh, method join item action so you have to specify your list here and uh, the delimiter and the the value which is extracted will be uh, here we have specified delimiter as comma so you will get item 1 comma item 2 so similarly if there were 10 items uh, comma separated you can get all those in this string variable so this is used for uh, this particular basis suppose you want to uh, get the information from a list variable and write it to the csv comma separated value so you can do that uh, using this okay and the delimiter can be anything you want you you specify using you can specify pipe symbol or any other value as well so here we are just printing out after join how the uh, string variable holds the data we, we have just uh, displaying that then next item is remove item so if you want to remove certain data from a list so we can do that here i have taken example of lst fruits uh, so fruits list uh, I have already shown you uh, in this list uh, fruits we have five fruits so from position index two I am remo removing one of the fruit so remember index two means third item will be removed as it is zero zero based index okay then uh, just displaying here which item was removed and then we will be uh, uh, looping over the list to check uh, how many fruits are there uh, we just we removed here one of the fruit that's why i am just checking the list again just to demonstrate then set item list set item set item action method or uh, set item action allows you to insert uh, i wouldn't say insert or basically update it's kind of update so at position index position one you want to uh, replace the current fruit with with the fruit you uh, you want to replace okay so uh, in lst fruit at position one suppose there were one fruit let's say banana so this will be replaced by str musk melon so str musk melon is a string variable in which i am holding musk melon value so here you can see str musk melon has a default value of musk melon so this that uh, fruit list fruit of at index position one will be updated to this fruit okay then i am we are just uh, we'll just looping the list to see the current list of fruits and then we have another uh, action uh, which is list size size will determine the size of your uh, list uh, suppose you want to check sometimes uh, what is the size of your list you can use this method this action okay and then we have list append so append methods append method allows you to add your list variable to a data table so here if you can see in the right side i have list fruits and then i have dt fruits dt fruit is a my data uh, table type of variable and uh, this all the data which is there at this moment in the list fruits will be assigned to this data table and then here we are querying the data table just to check whether the fruits are being added or not so these were all uh, the actions uh, i missed assign i guess so assign is basically if you want to assign uh, one list variable to another list variable so you can use list assign so your but that here one is uh, there's one catch your uh, source list variable and your destination list variable should be of same subtype subtype means i i shown you the this subtype right string so if you are copying if you are assigning one list to another list the subtype should match you cannot do list of string to list of uh, integer okay if this uh, if you have some doubt uh, regarding this you can uh, comment below this video i'll try to uh, explain or clear your doubts so that's all guys uh, uh, as far as per the explanation is concerned now let's uh, run this bot okay um, let's run this bot and check the uh, output of this uh, snippets uh, it will take a while to deploy yep bot is running now and we have added here two items in the list so in our first for loop we'll be seeing that uh, that those two items so first is uh, this pa path so here we have uh, we are taking a system a task name 
uh, yeah so task name is list package okay and then we uh, have the uh, control room url so these two uh, items we have added into lst task info okay and then we have used the join method okay join action of list so that joined this uh, particular those two values based uh, with a comma delimiter okay we got the two values here now uh, now we uh, i have shown you earlier we had a fruits list with a, a five fruits uh, in it and we have now removed remove item we have used remove item to remove watermelon so watermelon is removed and now we will be setting like updating uh musk melon so now we are just querying just uh, displaying the list of fruits okay apple orange banana watermelon is removed grapes orange orange is added okay so now again after adding orange uh, we are again querying that list of fruits so first fruit apple musk melon that we had replaced or set uh, we used a list of set item so this is now musk melon then banana grapes so one was removed one was replaced so the list contains now four fruits and we uh, have fetched this uh, size uh, fetched this number using the list of size uh, action okay now uh, we have uh, we have used append action to con uh, to assign this list fruit list of fruits uh, data to data table so this is uh, now from data table fruit apple fruit musk melon banana grapes that's it and we are done with our bot execution so if you if you see now uh, this here the list of fruits will not contain any modified data it it will always show you here default value because all that operations which are uh, occurring during the bot execution are in memory they will not impact or they will not change this uh, default uh, 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 default values right so again if you will start with this you will not find this uh, updated data over here so if you want to persist this information you have to store it somewhere or modify the list variable so that default values are not impact getting impacted okay so yep that's it guys uh, for list package hope uh, you'll you are able to understand all the uh, actions if in case you have some issues you or doubts you can comment out please consider subscribing to our channel and till then thank you